welcome back to A to Z Dentistry, a channel which features easy explanation of various dental related topics, exam tips and mnemonics. And our today's topic is why is adrenaline added to local anesthesia? So this is one of the most important short answer question which is asked in university exams and today we'll be seeing at six key reasons as to why we need adrenaline into the local anesthetic solutions. So without any further delay, let's get started. So let's move on to the introduction. So we know that all the clinically effective injectable local anesthetic agents are inherently vasodilators, right? By the term vasodilator, we mean that when these are injected, they cause dilatation within the blood vessels. So after the deposition of this local anesthesia into the tissues, the blood vessels, that is the arterioles and the capillaries primarily in that area are subjected to dilatation, right? So this leads to increase increase in the perfusion at that particular site right so what happens whenever we are using our local anesthesia without any vasoconstrictor so as these agents are particularly vasodilators so it leads to the depo so whenever we are depositing a such solution it leads to vasodilation in that particular area so we can imagine that whenever there is a vasodilate, vasodilatation occurring, there is increase in the perfusion at that particular area. This means that increased amounts of solution is getting deposited in that particular area, which might lead to the following consequences, which we'll be studying in the next slide. So there are four reactions particularly which might occur due to lack of vasoconstrictors within the local anesthesia so the first is redistribution of the drug so as we know that there is inherent vasodilation occurring this leads to an increased rate of absorption of the local anesthesia into the cardiovascular system right which in turn removed it from the injection site so uh, we know that by means of local anesthesia we need to anesthetize only a particular tissue right but when there is a lack of vasoconstrictor the anesthesia without gain deposited at the required site it the flow will go towards the cardiovascular system right so this is known as redistribution of the drug that is without being acting at the particular site where it needs to act it is getting into some other system and producing its effect okay the second thing is because of the high plasma levels of this local anesthesia there is an increased risk of local anesthetic toxicity that is overdose it causes both increase in the depth as well as duration of the anesthesia this is occurring because the local anesthetic is removed from the injection site at a more rapid rate and lastly because of the increased perfusion at that particular site there is increased bleeding at the site of treatment which we don't want so what are these vasoconstrictors right so vasoconstrictors are the drugs that constrict the blood vessels and thereby control the tissue perfusion right so as the name itself indicates vaso meaning the vessels and constrictor means it takes it is narrowing the lumen of the blood vessel right it is constricting it so that the perfusion can be controlled we need not need hyperperfusion in this cases because that will lead to transport of the drug from the required side towards the cardiovascular system increasing the chances of toxicity therefore we are adding the vasoconstrictors right so they are added to local anesthetic solutions to oppose the inherent vasodilatory actions of the local anesthetics right so in the first slide we have learned that all the local anesthetic solutions are inherently vasodilators therefore we need to add vasoconstrictors so that we can control the tissue perfusion which is occurring there so what is the role of adrenaline in this case right or epinephrine so the first role of adrenaline is that it constricts the blood vessels right and this vasoconstriction decreases the blood flow or the blood perfusion to the site of drug administration right so therefore it will limit the systemic toxicity of the la right the second important role of adrenaline is that the absorption of local anesthetic solution into the cardiovascular system is decreased or it is minimized right resulting in lower anesthetic blood levels see we need the local anesthesia to act on a particular tissue only we need not need higher local anesthetic blood levels higher anesthetic blood levels are indicating that without being contained into the particular site it is getting redistributed into the entire system 
right so in this table we can see for lignokin if you are using the dose of 400 milligrams so without vasoconstriction the peak levels in the blood is 4.3 microgram per ml right as opposed to with addition of vasoconstrictor or adrenaline it is 3 microgram per ml right so it is decreasing the anesthetic blood levels right so this is one of the chief function of adding vasoconstrictor into the local anesthetic solution so as previously discussed as the local anesthetic blood levels are decreased or they are lowered so the chances of increase in the anesthetic activity at that particular site or the increased risk of local anesthetic toxicity due to over administration of the drug is greatly minimized right so when there is redistribution of the local anesthetic solution occurring without the use of vasoconstrictor naturally we will have to compensate by increasing the amount of local anesthesia right will deliver increased amounts of local anesthesia which might lead to over administration of the drug right so therefore we need a vasoconstrictor so it can decrease the risk of over administration of the anesthetic solution however the overdose from rapid intravascular injection can still occur right so we need a slow administration of the LA whenever we are injecting it so the fourth function of adrenaline is that it helps the local anesthetic solution to diffuse into the nerve wherein it will remain into the nerve for a longer period of time therefore it will subsequently increase the action of duration of that local anesthetic right so we need the local anesthetic solution to remain into the uh, nerve fiber for a long period of time so that the duration of action is prolonged right so whenever we are adding this vasoconstrictor this is limiting the anesthesia at a particular uh, tissue or a particular site thereby it is increasing the duration of action plus it is preventing the redistribution of the drug which also naturally increases the duration of action of most local anesthetics so the fifth main reason for addition of vasoconstrictor or adrenaline is that it decreases the bleeding at the side of administration so as we know that we need a perfect aseptic condition while handling a tooth it is very necessary to prevent secondary infection right so the role of vasoconstrictor comes into play here that is particularly epinephrine if we talk about it has inherent quality of vasoconstriction right so whenever there is vasoconstriction the blood flow or the blood perfusion is greatly decreased thereby the chances of bleeding are reduced subsequently right so the inclusion in the local anesthetic solution is particularly helpful when increased chances of bleeding are anticipated especially during any surgical procedure uh, so for example if we want to undergo surgical procedure with third molar right so there are increased chances of bleeding because inher inherently the surgery might take a longer time so in such cases we need adrenaline or vasoconstrictor so that the bleeding can be controlled easily and the last reason is that it increases the depth of anesthesia as the local anesthesia is prevented from getting removed from the site of injection at a rapid rate right so by this method it is increasing the depth rate it is preventing the anesthesia from getting removed rapidly from the site of injection therefore the depth of anesthesia is increased so a quick recap as to what we have learned so far so we started with the introduction right it introduction we have discussed about why there is need to add vasoconstrictor right that is because all the local anesthetics are inherently vasodilators that is they will predominantly dilate the capillaries as well as arterioles right because of which there will be increased perfusion at that site and the drug or the local anesthetic agent which we are injecting will get redistributed towards the other systems right also there is risk of over administration of the drug drug secondly because of the inherent properties of vasodilation there will be increase in the blood right at that particular site leading to chances of bleeding excess bleeding during the procedure 
right then we have studied effects due to lack of constructor that is same then we have studied what are vasoconstrictors so basically these are the solution which cause constriction of the blood vessels thereby reducing the perfusion at that particular site then we have studied as to why we need to add vasoconstrictor or epinephrine particularly so we have seen six key reasons as to why we are adding epinephrine into the la right so first it is because it lessens the chances of bleeding this is especially important during major surgical procedures where huge amount of bleeding might be anticipated right so by decreasing the perfusion at the required site the bleeding is minimized second it increases the duration of action so by adding adrenaline in our la what we are doing we are increasing the duration of action because we are limiting the drug or the solution to that particular site only where we need the effects of la third it decreases the anesthetic toxicity so as it is limiting the transfer of the drug from one part to another it is preventing the redistribution of the drug therefore there is naturally decrease in the anesthetic toxicity right then fourth it lowers the systemic effects of la uh, so previously we have learned that we need to prevent the redistribution as the drug might get towards the cardiovascular system which might have a huge impact on the health of the patient right so therefore also addition of epinephrine is lowering the systemic effect right as it is preventing from the drug to get redistributed towards the cardiovascular system fifth it decreases the risk of over administration of the la so this is by increasing the duration of action right so when the profound anesthesia is not achieved and there is continuously redistribution occurring we need to inject huge amounts of la to gain anesthesia right but when we are adding epinephrine we are increasing the duration right we are preventing the redistribution therefore we are decreasing the risk of over administration of the la sixth it increases the depth of anesthesia right so basically by limiting to the drug to that particular tissue we are increasing the depth of anesthesia so guys this was all about the six key reasons as to why we need addition of vasoconstrictors into the la this is a very important question and this is one of the most frequently asked question in short answer questions right so you need to list all the six points to get maximum marks right so for three marks question you need to mention at least six points so these are the six key points which are described in malamed which is the standard reference book so i hope you understood this topic very well for any queries please mention in the comment section below if you want me to make any video on new topics please mention in the comment section below till then this is dr snail signing off bye bye take care